our discussions on transport layer included TCP and UDP, protocols that have been in use since early 1980s. During these years, while UDP provided the lightweight option to communicate best effort, different versions of TCP were developed to address different behaviors observed in use of TCP in different scenarios. For example, large data transfer using TCP on connections with high bandwidth means a TCP window can grow large to allow many packets in flight, with a single loss being able to considerably shrink that window and affect the communication drastically. Or in wireless networks, a wireless link can experience noise, handover, and channel changes on user mobility. While many of these wireless effects are taken care in the link layer, as we will briefly explore later in this course, it may still impact packet loss rate related to these effects in network layer. Remember, TCP treats loss as a sign of congestion. So, TCP sees something resulted due to wireless channel effects as an indication that there is a congestion in the network, and the congestion control behavior starts. This, on the other hand, will affect the rate. Links experiencing long RTTs, data centers with their latency-sensitive use cases, and background traffic flows with lower priority traffic all have different needs and have used different flavors of TCP over the years to respond to those needs. In the meantime, many applications that need to use TCP's reliability and a set of other services provided by TCP, but do not want the other effects of those services, may choose to implement those services in the application layer. Quick is an exceptional case of one such protocol developed at the application layer, but is still working with application layer protocols specifically designed to help the performance of HTTP.